Great. So now let's get into a set of commands that deal with files. So in a lot of operating systems, you have the concept of a file, uh, where the file is kind of the core data structure within the file system, or within the operating system. It is how you store data, it is how you store programs. Linux, even more so than everything else, works on a mentality that at its core, everything is a file. Meaning programs are files, stuff you type in is files, most of your settings are stored in files, it's all a file. So there's a whole bunch of commands that deal with manipulating files, creating files, copying files, moving files, deleting files, so on and so forth. The first thing we'll look at is how all of these files are organized. Most operating systems have some notion of this, but files in Linux are organized in a tree, meaning that in Linux we have what we call the root. It's just represented by a slash. Underneath that, you have a whole bunch of folders. I'm not going to list them all, but these are things like bin, user, home. Um, most of these deal with storing files for the operating system and kind of more advanced things that we won't be getting into. What we're going to care about is the home folder. This home folder is where the home folder for each user lives. So on the virtual machine, there's one user whose name is user, so inside the home folder, or inside the home directory, there's another directory called user, and inside the user directory is where all of your user stuff is. So this is like Dropbox, this is like documents, it's like music, so on and so forth. So, one thing we're gonna do, the thing we're gonna look at now is kind of how you move around this tree, um, because that's going to be important. Like I said, we're mainly going to be focusing on this segment because this is where you will be storing most of your files and where you'll be doing the bulk of your work uh, for at least the immediate future. Questions are kind of what is going on here. You can take an entire class on the eccentricities of file systems if you want to, but understanding this, that tree structure is kind of important to what we're about to do. So. The obvious question, when you start the terminal, your terminal is always located in a current directory. It's called the working directory. When you run a command from that directory, you're essentially acting on the files in that directory most of the time. Um, I will probably accidentally use the term directory and folder interchangeably. Uh, in Linux, you tend to call them directories. In Windows, you tend to call them folders. It means the same thing. Um, so